Well, today, Ellery McArdle is here to talk about a new technology that Hopkins is testing out to keep kids safe. And Ellery, it looks like you are right there with that school bus. Yeah, absolutely. You know, guys, I've been covering this issue for several years now, and I've never heard of this system. It's called PSA, or the Predictive Stop Arm. And basically, it predicts when a car is going to illegally pass a stop school bus. And what's on it are these two radar sensors right here when the stop arm comes out. And it also has cameras as well. And what these things do is they measure the distance and speed of an oncoming car. And if a car is about to pass the school bus, this is what happens. here, but there are speakers on the outside of the bus that tell kids not to cross the street. That's if the system detects a car going too fast. Now, this technology was developed by Safe Fleet, and right now, Hopkins Public Schools and one other district in Florida are testing it. Hopkins has it on four buses right now, and it's helping the company work out some final kinks before the product actually hits the market in the next month or so. You get feedback that, hey, the system that you helped us make it, make your child safe. That's the best feeling you can have. This approach is meant to not only catch those drivers breaking the law, but also keep kids safe. And that was really a big factor in why Hopkins decided to go with this system, because they wanted to focus a little bit less on the prosecution, but way more on keeping kids safe. All right, so we've shown you the outside of the bus and some of the system here. Next half hour at 5.30, I'm going to take you inside to the driver's seat and show you what the drivers experience with this system. Back oh, to you. Look forward to that. I mean, it is. it makes sense. Try and you know, prevent the problem. We've been talking about this element. predictive stop arm system, which basically predicts when a car is going to illegally pass a stop school bus. So last half hour, we showed you the outside with the radars and the cameras. Well, I want to show you what the driver sees because they see these two indicators in here. This first one down here is green. That that turns red when the system detects that a car is going to pass the bus. And then up here, that goes off if there's a student that's 10 feet on either side or somebody uh, 10 feet on either side of the bus. And then after those go off, that's when that audio warning we showed you earlier blares on the outside of the bus, basically telling kids not to cross the street. So Hopkins Public Schools is one of two districts in the nation testing this technology. The systems are on four buses right now. We talked with Andrew Krop. He's a driver using it, and he says he likes it so far. Now, with this system, he says he doesn't have to worry about memorizing a license plate of a driver. He can focus more on the kids, and he sees cars illegally pass his bus every single day, and he actually told us about one this week that made him really frustrated. He waved like it was okay because he was looking up from his phone as this happened, as he swerved out of the way, and he was kind of doing one of these at me, and then kept going. I'm like, what are you doing, man? Like, if he had stopped, it still would have been bad, but not nearly as bad as, like, just, you know, racing through it after the fact. So Safe Fleet is the company that created this system, and they tell me that they expect to actually roll this out on the market in the next month or so. But like we said earlier, there's one district in Florida. That's the only other district in the nation besides the Hopkins. should that is wrap testing. up its case shortly after that. Back to you. Lou, thank you. All morning, we have been showing you new technology that could be a game changer for school districts all across the nation, and it is being tested right in Hopkins. It's a system that predicts when a car will pass a stopped school bus. Ellery McArdle is back live now to show us what this system can do. Good morning, Ellery. Yeah, good morning, Lauren. So all morning, we've showed you the outside of the bus. We showed you the radars and the cameras on the system. Uh, we went inside and show you what the driver sees with those but I want to show you what else is new on this right side of the bus, the side where students get on and off of it. They have a camera up here in the top corner because, unfortunately, cars and trucks do pass on this side, and we know that it's so dangerous. Hopkins Public Schools has been testing out this system for a month, and as you can see, they've definitely caught some violators on camera. Not only that, when a car comes too fast, students on the outside of the bus hear a warning to not cross the street. Hopkins is the second district in the nation to test this system. We talked with the transportation supervisor who believes this technology allows bus drivers to focus more on the kids and not worry as much about identifying the driver that passes them. And he also thinks that audio warning to students is key. And it's hard for the drivers to pick up, you know, the make and model and, you know, who the person was that was driving, you know, there. So this way, you know, we have the video, we have the all the information, but more importantly, the child never stepped out in the street to begin with. 
So Hopkins has this system on four buses right now, uh, and it plans to test this for the next year or so. And they're hoping that you know maybe other districts will latch onto this idea and try this out and may put them on their buses permanently. Back to you. Oh, Eller, how lucky to be testing that here. Every year we have these horrible accidents with kids and school buses. If this can help, it'd be great. Thanks a lot.